that nine years ago with, uh, with with an old mate Eka and if you listen to it it's raw what it is it's me playing the guitar a really old guitar I'll show you that and um, very odd guitar to play actually so I just use it for slide guitar experimental slide guitar at that but um, also I use my rock box which is a foot drum and you can hear that tapping away. So it's a very sort of real rustic sound, it's not like uh, you get out of a recording studio. But it, the song itself is like, it's, it's got some truth to it. All my songs have got some uh, element of truth to it, but uh, that one in particular. Um, Nine years ago, though, I can't believe that. And on there, you've got my mate Echo Cox playing the uh, the mouth organ. He's a very accomplished musician. Sings, plays guitar, plays bass, plays keyboards, 
plays the trombone and um, I invited him over to do the harmonica on that tune and the rest is just guitar and vocals of myself so thank you very much Eka I think you do a lovely job and uh, it's an honour to call you a friend so there you go I hope you enjoyed it I'll be loading lots of more songs soon so here's Eka it's a 19... 60 Italian guitar it's actually an echo and it was in terrible condition when I bought it it was the uh, the top was the face had come away from the edge here so at the back and I had to glue it all round and then clamp it and uh, stick it all back together but the uh, I think the bridge is off and old off now this um, pickup is off and old off now <laughs> I glued a couple of pennies there to um, lift the bridge up the uh, pick up a little bit it's uh, arched up Stop. I'll put this new fit in here for the jack plug. I'll put the uh, little design on there. The tuning pegs were knackered. <laughs> they were on a strip, which was um, half of it was missing, it was broken and all that. So I replaced the tuning heads with individual ones, filled the holes. Now the thing is, you might be thinking, I mean it is rough, look at it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like somebody's old sideboard in here, it's uh, probably mahogany, there's the back, but the thing is, this guitar was destined for the skip, literally, it was in a bad way, and I toyed it up, fixed it up, gave it a little new lease of life and on this very swing here um, well tell a lie the old swing that was in this uh, position this is where I recorded a song and uh, I've, also re I've also done two other songs um, what was this called uh, I forget the name of the song Baking yeah Baking I was sitting here the sun was shining, which is nearly gone now, and it inspired me to write a song called Baking, because I was baking in the sun. <laughs> so that's it. That's Eka. After my mate, Eka. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Turn this off. And I only use it, I've, I've tuned it to, uh, as you can see, DG. D, G, D, G, D, G, B, D. <laughs> so it's an open chord, which is ideal for... for um, slide guitar. And there you have it. Difficult uh, guitar to play, but I love it a bit. I'll keep it forever. The other thing I used in that song was a Black Country Rock Box. A box that rocks. As you can see, I made it myself. It's got a input there, which is in fact um, a jack plug, which which is wired to a, a like a bass speaker, which picks up the sound, so they can go straight into a PA. There's the back of it. So how does it work? You might ask. Well, you don't just bang it with your foot, you actually rest your foot on it and I'll try and do this I'll take off my shoe, it might be a bit easier here we go so you rest your foot on it and just bring your foot back so instead of having to keep tapping it like that it's a lot more comfortable to just 
bring your foot back right. and, and do that. Then, to get the, the, the sound for the song, I went boom, tap, then forward. So, you get me? So, you got the three sounds coming out. You got, you got, get me? <laughs> three sounds for the price of one foot. <laughs> so, that's the, rock, the Black Country Rock Box. And one last thing that I used just at the beginning of that song, I call this Ravi. It's a rain stick. And my mate Ravi has played it for me a couple of times at a couple of gigs. All the way from Chile. It's full of cactus uh, needles. So, you go take it. I've got closer to it here. And it makes a rain sound. But I better not do it too much because it's a lovely day and we don't want to tempt fate. So that's Robbie, the rain stick. Bye.